20 odd passes, Louis, mm -hmm. and it's a, a culminating in a wonderful finish. And you know, that gives everyone a lift. There's a belief growing. But you're, you're talking about belief as well, too. Like, you know, two years ago, uh, Michael and Don Aaron couldn't win an argument. Mm. Uh, d d d Luck as well plays his mm. part, and then with, with luck comes confidence. As you say, whenever yep. Healy was on the park, we always felt that non arm were going to get a chance mm. to score. And as a result, then it's 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 not rocket science. You know, you can coach mm. all you want, but if luck's not on your side, yeah. we're getting a wee bit of rub, you know a wee bit of the rub of the green now. Yeah, which certainly helps, and especially at international level, where those little bits of luck, if they go your say, uh, go on your side, then you win games, and and with winning games. There is confidence, and the most important thing in any of our setups is is breeding that confidence and making it grow into what we're seeing now. These boys are going into games believing they can win through a structure set down by the manager, through a shape that's set down by the manager, and being driven by every every member of staff. The team behind the team of your league, he's he's assembled a wonderful group of people who are working with the players constantly, consistently consistent messages through the whole team and every squad I've been involved in is listen hard work hard graft organization set plays a lot of the things that Megal would have probably grown up as I grew up through our first international manager in Billy Bingham a lot of the things that were you know central to his successful squads were his organization and his set plays and obviously the individual talent that they he had at his disposal and also, I would say to you too as well, when you look at it, through the spine of the team, as mm. I would call it, so much experience, you know, when you go from the likes of Macaulay, mm. when you go to the likes of, you know, Evans, then you go into Davis, for me, who makes the team tick and yeah. always has, I think, listen, yeah. you know, and but when I'm talking to you as well, you'll be able to tell me about, about his injury and hopefully he'll be okay. Mm. But, you know, we have a seasoned professional core there. Yeah. And a very quiet bunch of lads compared to, let's say, a few non-iron teams, yeah. which we will... Yeah. Well, she'll remain nameless, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you couldn't get a word in Edris in the squads I was in. But certainly, yeah, agreed. And, and Mega masterstroke Roy Carl too. Bringing Roy Carl back into the international setup. Hey, a player who always wanted to play it for an honour. Yeah. Which is very important too. Which is very important and in a crucial position. Uh, albeit he will not want to watch that goal again. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, he's brought that experience. The Spain of the team is very strong. You supplement that around the fringes of you know talented boys. Jimmy Ward has grown as the as the uh, uh, the tournament has, has progressed and uh, the likes of McGinn has matured because he's yeah. got he's got a steady run now with Aberdeen. When he was with Celtic, he was in and out of the team, yeah. and it just goes to show you when you get a steady run, he's now a bit of you know he's almost one of the top names in Aberdeen and is showing in his in his play. And Michael's shown great faith in him too, which again gives a player confidence that he knows that he can come into an international setup and play. And that's very important. But more again, more importantly, is those players that are in and around the fringes. That you can feel that their togetherness, that you can feel as if uh, that they're all in it together and they all want to listen, who doesn't want to play in an international major tournament? We've never played in the European Championships for the first time if it happens. In, in the history of the association. So, you know, for the likes of Aaron Hughes, Macaulay, mm -hmm. Davis, Brunt, Carl, you know, these players would have done anything to have played for Northern Ireland, represented Northern Ireland in a major tournament. They're not going to get a better chance. You're mentioning players there, like that, and then I think back to the likes of Chris Bird, who almost yeah. is a, a, a renaissance under yeah. Michael O'Neill, who's shown faith in him as well. Yeah. And he's playing, he's playing as, as good as he's ever played for now. Yeah, and a lad that's not playing regularly at club level, but again, is crucial in the system that Michael employs at international level. And Michael, yes, has shown great faith in him. And in all fairness, Chris Bird is, uh, you know, that faith has been replicated through him, through his performances. So, you know, listen, touch wood. You know, we're in a position now where uh, prior to this 